Being able to cut correctly is central to life. Like cutting frames out of a film strip, the cell machinery must be able to cut complex molecules like DNA with an incredible precision and speed. For 40 years, Virginia Sixness has tried to find and control nature's unique genetic scissors. I was in a field for many years studying restriction enzymes and trying to understand how restriction enzymes provide interference against invading viruses. Despite of our efforts, I got a bit frustrated because it was really difficult to engineer restriction enzymes. Sixness was even looking for a new field of research when, in 2007, an article in Science rekindled his interest. The article described that bacteria appeared to hijack small pieces of viral DNA and use them as an immune memory called CRISPR-Cas so they could fight and eliminate future virus attack. Central to the system was a protein called Cas9. The authors of the science paper, they, they have shown that Cas9 is important for the interference against invading viruses. But actually no one knew how this Cas9 protein works. Therefore, building on our experience on restriction enzymes, we decided to isolate Cas9 and, and characterize it in the tube. The researchers soon found how Cas9 is programmed by CRISPR RNA to cut DNA and that changing the RNA sequence would allow them to reprogram Cas9 to any desired target site. It was really an eureka moment, and we were all very excited about that. But after five minutes, we started to discuss new controls to be sure that actually it does what we expect. As it turned out, Sixnus and his colleagues were right, and thus an unprecedented genetic engineering tool had been created. The potential of Cas9 is, is really enormous. Cas9 can be used to correct mutations in human DNA that cause genetic disease. Cas9 can be used to create animal models that are used for developing new drugs to cure different disease. However, the goal of Sixness research was always fundamental, not to create a million dollar tool for genetic engineering. If we fixed on this goal from the very beginning, we probably had never reached it. The big scientific breakthroughs and discoveries often come from unpredictable and it's really difficult to predict unpredictable. Mm -hmm.